Hey guys, Todd here in San Miguel de Allende. Today we're gonna take you on a ride to a pyramid that I've never been before. Let's go. People always ask me about the trails that we ride on, the biking trails around here. And I always say, well, they're not really just bike trails, they're just trails. For some people, they're commuting trails. Like we ride this uh, trail at the beginning of almost every ride and we almost always run into some whale who takes this way every day on his way to work. Hola Samuel, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> I love all the crops out here. All this corn, I mean, if you heard a few months ago, it wasn't corn, it was wheat or alfalfa or something else that they grow just to feed their animals. But yeah, right now you can see there's flowers because it's just, it's just wet and verdant. Our step pyramid in Guanajuato. It's unusual in that it's a step pyramid. Now we're going to cross this and tell you more about it later. Buddy. They decided to carry their bikes across, but my bike's heavier, so I decided just to ride it. What are you looking at? One-handed, always one-handed when I'm trying to get a video shot. This is it. All right. So the telltale signs of a pyramid in this area are this high mound and then a courtyard always facing to the east out here. If you watched Todd's previous videos, you've seen uh, Aldo explain that. This one's a little different because it's built on a promontory of land. And on the far side, it's actually a cliff. So, and it looks like there were man-made steps. Now, their steps are about 10 feet tall, yeah. but you can walk around on two different layers on the outside. <laughs> but it, there's also caves dug out of the yes. sides of the steps. Caves dug out. There might have been places for people to live, I don't know. And if you look for uh, mounds here, or pyramids, you check for this high priest mound and the courtyard, and then you look for pottery shards on the ground. Right. And I just saw one right here. A ago. There's one. And for some reason, the ground here is strewn with corpse. Another. Yeah. I'm going to meet you up top. And of course, we will leave all of these. <laughs> and of course, the view from this mound, this pyramid, is just spectacular in all directions. Okay. I think they cut that. No way. Oh, absolutely. I think it was a mound and then they terraced it. Oh, it doesn't matter, you know, the pyramids in Egypt. They make people back then made unbelievable stuff. So, yes, we have our theories and some of us have knowledge about uh, the history of this area, but we're always open to other knowledge, new knowledge about any of the historical areas in San Miguel. So if you know something that we don't, please let us know. Or even if you know of a video we should be making, we would love that. 
up above. It looks it's like crazy hummus or hum yeah. hummus. Hummus. Could that be almost like from uh, yeah, like termites or yeah, something? Oh, it, looks like, it looks like an insect. Boring. Hey, Bill? Yep. Did you tell them that they came here for the part of the sacrifice? Yeah. They needed another body. The youngest guy. Yeah. Could sacrifice. Uh oh. I think that's me. What are you checking there, Josh? Didn't foam up at all. So it's, so not, it's not calcium. Calcium. And that's quartz, so it does not. It's quartz. It's just, wow. So we don't know what so it is. So much for that theory. It does yeah. look like it was underwater, though. I, I should have had you guys in my uh, high school yeah. chemistry class. Look at this formation here. It's strange. It's almost like a veil on a mushroom or something. Quite a piece. We spent a while exploring these pyramids and I was taking some beautiful pictures and I guess I wasn't paying attention because somehow I got bitten by a bunch of red ants. These are the suckers that got me. All right, back away from the mini pyramid. All these tiny cactus thorns, if they were bigger, I would not pull them out because I am riding tubeless, but because they're so small and I'm waiting for my friends, I just figured I'd take these many, many cactus thorns out of my tire. Hey everybody, wow, that was quite a ride. I just want to make a little uh, public service announcement. Please don't ask me where these places are. I really uh, don't want to publicize locations to make them anything like touristic places to go or people with four by fours or ATVs. Uh, we try to tread very lightly when we go to these um, historic sites. You know, also they're not easy to get to. I mean, I just was bushwhacking off trail for the last half hour. I separated from my friends. I had, you know, cactus sticking out of me, thorns, you know. Earlier I got attacked by red ants. So, you know, this is not, uh, a little walk in the park and I like that. I like that because it makes these places, you know, that much more easy to preserve. So thank you so much for coming along on our journey today. Hopefully I'll rendezvous up with my friends soon. They went down the other side of the valley and uh, we'll see you around San Miguel de Allende.